guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mini drugstore haul, and so let's just get started. So the first place I went to is not very exciting, but it's kind of cosmetic beauty related. And I went to Joann's looking for um, organizers for my makeup because I had some coupons there. And then I ended up coming out with this and um, set on the floor. But it's just all of these little baby jars. Um, so I'm just going to open that just so you guys can kind of see what it is. This is for like beads and stuff because we were in the bead section. But um, I actually just ended up getting it for like making lip balms and stuff like that. This was $10 and I got $25 for them. And you can get like a lot of different things for $10. You can get like big ones that are stackable. But I wanted individual lids. Um, I wanted individual lids just so I could make it for different things. And so I got 25 of them. And they feel kind of cheap. But I think that... Um, maybe if I like painted the top or something that they would be really cute and I think that I could make a ton of different lip balms um, and stuff like that because I'm always running out of sample jars and stuff like that. Now on to the more makeup category. Um, I didn't get much like I said but I did get some stuff. The first thing um, that I got and I actually got this two weeks ago I think. And my sister had it, and I used it in one of her tutorials, and I just fell in love with the color, so I had to get it myself. And it's the Dream Bouncy Blush in Peach Satan, and it's just this really pretty um, peachy color. Um, they have so many different like varieties of this, but I thought that this one would be like the most color that I would want, and also since I already tried it out, that I thought that I should just get this one and play it safe. I also got this the same time that I got the Dream Bouncy Blush, and it's the Wet n Wild Corral Cream Foundation. And I was requested to do a review on this, but I haven't yet, just because I really I'm not very good with reviews, and also just because it's just I just every time I do it, it just t tends to mess up or something. I don't really know how to explain it. But I'll just quickly go over a short review of this real quick. Um, I do not recommend this for dry skin. It catches on like your skin, especially like dry patches that you have. It makes your pores look really big, especially if you do not use a primer. Maybe with a pore filling primer would look better, but with just like a regular face smoothing primer or without a primer, your pores look huge. It's really inexpensive. I do really like this foundation, but definitely make sure to use a pore filling um, primer. Yeah. <laughs> And I also got this in Fair Light, and I really do like this, and I recommend that you guys get it. Okay, so now on to the new stuff, which is so exciting. Actually, it's all e.l.f. stuff, because just kind of had my eye on some e.l.f. stuff, and I wasn't really looking to spend a lot of stuff, I mean a lot of money on stuff. The first thing I got was Persimmon um, All Over Color Stick. I have another one of these, if I can find it, the back in the cheek section. Oh, okay, here it is. I have another one of these in pink lemonade, and this is like not a very cute color. It's very pink. Very, very pink. Um, very shimmery. It looks pretty cute on your cheeks, but don't rub it on your cheeks. Kind of stipple it in, patting it, but I think that you can really easily go overboard with it like I did on this side. Let me open this up. And I got this in Persimmon. This was the only shade that they had. So I just thought that I would go with this one. And here's just what it looks like. Um, these are a dollar. This one doesn't actually have a very, like I was about to say it doesn't have a very good smell, but this one has a very like awesome smell to it, <laughs> awesome smell to it. But um, this one just doesn't really have a smell to it, but um, I wanted to get it as a highlighter, but I don't really know how well, oh wait, that will definitely work as a highlighter. Yay, my first highlighter, look at that, it's so pretty. Oh yes, yes, loving it. Just gonna highlight my face real quick, hope you guys don't mind. I like that product. Let's see what it's. I bet this 
will look pretty cute on the lips, I think. Next thing I got is the e.l.f. liquid liner in black. I have it in coffee, but um, I don't know. I just kind of wanted it in black. And since it's only a dollar, I thought, why not, you know? Fail. But um, I thought that I would just go ahead and get it since I'm just in that section of the store. And I love their $1 liquid liners. Um, some of their other liquid liners I'm not a super big fan of, but I definitely do like this one. The last thing I got is something that I've been really eyeing for a while, and it's the Tone Correcting Powder. Um, this one's just in cool. I don't really, I'm not good with like, is my face warm, is my face cool kind of stuff, but I thought that everybody seems to get cool. Um, that seems like the most, um, you know, wanted one, but I also like this container, so when I run out of it, I think that will be really nice to do some DIYs in, and it doesn't, actually it has like a weird smell to it, not like a weird, weird smell to it, but a kind of weird smell, so I'll just kind of swatch it so you guys can see like what it looks like. Okay, so they, here are all of the colors, kind of, this is yellow, this is pink, I think, this one's green and then this one is the last color what's the other color in there uh blue i think that's blue and then here's them all together let's see how this works. i'm just gonna use my finger and take the yellow color and kind of place that right there I don't really think that this really tone corrects much Oops, sorry um i don't really think that this tone corrects that much um but I think that for $3, I mean, I've heard that it keeps your face matte and everything. And with the possibility that it tone corrects, you know, you might as well try it out. All right, guys. So that is all that I got for my haul. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more from me, I try and make videos every three to four days. And um, don't forget to like if you like this video and haul. And make sure to comment down below if you guys have any video requests. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.